Some of you will be familiar with the 300 TE. It has been in one of my previous videos. Here we have the just removed 103 982 engine from this car. The head was removed in a previous video, but the owner decided to remove the whole engine to give it a refresh, possibly on my advice. An interim replacement engine came into his hands, which is now in the car and running sweetly. So that gave him the time he needed to have this one out and rebuilt without a rush. You can see the old air conditioner compressor and belt tensioner housing still fitted to the engine, covered in 30 years worth of dirt and grime. Here you can see the bolt pattern where it mounts to the engine block and the mounting surfaces where the power steering pump is held. The power steering pump is the tandem type as found on 124 wagons and is also in 126, 300 SE and L's. You can see it mounted by these two ears. Here we have another M103 bracket on the left and a late post mid 1994 M104 bracket on the right. You can see the long lower power steering pump mounting is the same but the upper one is also longer in the M104 bracket. However, as you just saw on the pump, this will hold the tandem pump no problem as the original M103 pump uses a spacer piece at that top mounting. The mounting points to the block are also identical and of course the M104 uses this housing as an oil separator for crankcase gases but this will not be used on the 103. You can see the part numbers here if you're interested. So here is proof of concept that the late M104 bracket with spring-loaded belt tensioner can be installed on the 103 at least in this 124. You would need to make sure that your car has the large compressor, otherwise you're going to need to replace the compressor as well, I would imagine. I'm not 100% sure about that. But in any case, this 300TE now has the modern spring-loaded belt tensioner. None of that rubber bearing nonsense that likes to get oil soaked and fail. So this is a great upgrade if you can do it. 